in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have you ever offered to befriend someone? And tell them, if you became friend with me, I will do whatever you ask of me for you? Have you ever heard of such an offer? Or do you think or consider it is fair? I think that in order to have a healthy relationship or friendship, everything should be based on equality and not one side profit. But in the case of God, we see that such a thing happened to us. Jesus says, you are no longer my servant, but my friends. So whatever you ask in my name, the Father will do for you. Whatever you ask. Friendship with Jesus is friendship with God. The condition of this friendship is to be remain in him and his love. Like a, a branch that stay in vine. The condition is that we keep his commands. Do you remember what the greatest commands was? Love your God and love your neighbor. Love is the foundation of what we are called to. So we must love one another. In 1st of Corinthians chapter 13, tell us what the condition are for this love that we should do. Paul says, if we give all our wealth in the way of God, but do not have love, we will not gain anything. The love we show must be in patience and kindness. Love that is not accompanied by proud. Let us not be jealous of each other and our success. And do not seek only our own benefits. Do not be happy when others fall and do not be angry with each other. And hope in all cases. Hope in all cases. Today we can ask ourselves, is there such a love in us? If your answer is yes, thanks God. But if not, what should we do? What should we do? How can we be a branch full of fruit in this true wine that has glorified God and is no longer a servant and a slave, but a friend of God? In verse 14, Jesus says, You are my friend if you do what I command you. You may now say that obeying God's commandments is not an easy task. Yes, you are right. It is not easy at all. But don't forget, we need to know that it is by the love of God that we have the Holy Spirit to strengthen us in this difficult and tempting journey to grow in the spiritual path of our lives, we become more and more like Jesus Christ, who has perfect love, to the point where he did not spare his life to save his friends and bring them into eternal life. In response to this love, it is our share to love one another. My brother and sister, it is our share to love one another. Even if in the current unusual situation that we have been involved in COVID-19 for more than a year, there are many of our loved ones who suffer from depression, poor financial conditions, 
and family breakdown due to this disease. It is really sad. Let us take this place in the church's share of love for ourselves and our neighbors. For the world understand only that we are disciples of Jesus to show his love.